30 bags. 30 bags in a bucket. Hi flower friends, it's Nicole from Flower Hill Farm. And underneath this tarp lies five tons of sand. We had it delivered yesterday and this is how I'm filling sandbags to cover the lavender. You're covering lavender with sandbags? No, I'm covering the lavender with frost cloth, Agrabah 19, I believe. But in order to keep that frost cloth on top, because it's very windy here, I'm using sandbags. Oh, a whole lot of them, more than 100, I think 150. So I have a lot of work to do because it's November 14th. <laughs> Happy birthday, mom. And uh, usually the week of my mom's birthday is when we have our big first snowstorm of the year. So that's coming. It's just not here yet. So let's get to work filling these sandbags and covering up the lavender. Now these are just 50 pound sandbags. You don't fill them up all the way because you've got to tie them. I have one filled already. I want to see how this new tool that I bought worked. And this is just an easy bagger. You just use it, put it in the bag. And I'm basically not doing any shoveling at all. Let me get my glove on because it's cold out here. It's actually snowing right now. So you literally just Get the sand, lift up, and the sand goes to the bottom of the bag. It's actually making this quick and easy. It could be quicker and it could be easier if this sand was dry. It's not dry. It's actually, it was delivered pretty wet because it was raining yesterday. So the guy who delivered it on his dump trailer, he drove in the rain. So not as dry as I would like it to be for filling. This is my first time using sandbags here at the farm. I've used rocks in the past to cover things, but you know, there's only so many rocks. And believe me, if I dug anywhere on this property, I could, I could find you a rock. But the sandbags will be a lot easier because they're easy to store. So once I have my workshop built, I can store them on the side of the workshop. And then every year, all I have to do is load them up into the tractor and reuse the same sandbags over and over again. So I'm hoping that this is a one-time job. I'm filling them all today and I'll never have to fill them again. We have the first 30 bags filled. I think this is enough to do one row of lavender. The rows are 150 feet long. So if we put a bag every 10 feet, we should be okay. But we're gonna go ahead and load up the tractor bucket with these and go down there with the frost cloth and see. Brad's insistent that they all, <laughs> they're all gonna fit. Three more. Oh, he's making it work. Last one going on your lap. Is that one gonna go on your lap? <laughs> Thirty bags. 
30 bags in a bucket. Here is the lavender we have to cover. I'm not gonna cut it way back or anything. I'm just gonna cover it. I am not a professional when it comes to taking care of lavender over the winter, but I have been doing a lot of research and some people say cut it back before winter. Some people say don't cut it back, don't cut anything woody or it won't grow back. There are so many different opinions, so I decided to basically just leave it alone. I'm leaving the lavender alone. I have cut most of the lavender itself back, so I have trimmed it back, but not really that much. So I'm leaving it alone and we'll see what happens and it's kind of like an experiment. All of this is experiment. All of my farming I feel like is just done by experimenting and figuring out what works for me and my microclimate. So we are going to just cover it with frost cloth and see how it fares for the first winter. So now I just have to do this four more times because I have five rows of lavender. One, two, three, there's four. Well, I think it's like three and a half more rows. That 500 foot row is Agrabon. I got it online. The link's in the description below. And that's also where I got the sandbags and that little, um, little orange thing that I was using to help fill the bags, the easy bagger. Ooh, so helpful, so helpful. Not one shovel did I pick up to fill 30 bags and I do have to fill 100, and 100 more-ish. <laughs> so hopefully that will prevent some winter die off. I know I'll have some that don't make it through the winter and that's okay. I'll just put little new babies in their place. I am nowhere near done <laughs> with fall work and I feel like fall's gone. I mean, we had snow on the ground this morning. We've had snow in the air several days. It's mid-November, today's my mom's birthday. Happy birthday, mom. And we always have a big snowstorm, our first one of the season is usually around my mom's birthday. So I'm expecting that to come soon. And I still have to do the rest of this lavender, which hopefully I'll get a lot of that done today. I still have a couple thousand bulbs to plant, but I am, uh, I think I'm gonna hold a few hundred back and try to do some crate planting. So hmm, that should be fun. Also the hoop house is almost done. So I've, had a lot, I've got a ton of video to bring you guys, but I fear it's gonna have to come to you guys once this winds down, when I actually have time to go through and edit all of that content. So I even have like the final bouquet bar of the season video. <laughs> I have shots of that that I haven't even shown you guys yet. So there'll be a lot of stuff that I'll be able to share with you guys throughout the winter. And um, some exciting things are coming up too, including an exciting grow along with Flower Hill Farm. Well, details on that will be coming soon. Anyway, thanks guys for sticking around. I'm gonna get back to the sand and fill some more bags and get my lavender tucked in and put away for the winter. And we'll see you guys soon. My neck. I got a crick in my neck. Why are you guys so cute? I love you. Hello. The baby chickens. They're really cute. Hi, baby girl. You're pretty pretty. Oh, it's hey hey. Where's Jeffrey? Jeffrey? Oh, there's Jeffrey. Jeffrey's so crazy.